What's up guys, it's Connor here and we got the Moab Rush series on underground domination. So let's get right into it. You're looking at an overview of the map and that orange highlighter type deal is the route that I run. So you guys you guys will be able to see what it is when I'm doing it because I stick right in that area. You got that green color is the three flags A, B, and C. Two red X's on B and in the middle of the maps are the places you want to stay out of because you will die. And the what else is there? Oh yeah, the blue the blue numbers correspond down with the pictures that go around the video and those are the those are the pictures of the spawn and then the numbers on the overview of the map are like where they're located on the map so take a second check it out make sure you get it down and let's get right into this video all right so anywho we got a three minute moab here on underground and i'm sorry guys i did not start i was not able to record this into um theater mode i completely forgot so i'm not actually able to watch it because my computer blues but i can still give some tips on what i'm doing here now you guys will see the route that i am running it is just this constant loop of i go underground and then i come up go behind the bus by a and then i run right through the building i mean it's so easy to see always on the right side i run into three spawns there it would have been spawns one two and th no two three and four on the overview of the map is what those spawns were so make sure you remember those spawns and you'll just see me co constantly killing people here probably could have been a, an easy two minute moab two minute twenty second ish if my teammates decide not to flip the freaking spawn but anywho, I'm just, uh, it's whatever, it's whatever. Made a good video for this. Underground is a map I get Moabs on quite often. And you'll see, this is, I mean, this map is just super easy. This route I'm running, guys, you get them spawn trapped over at A. Easy, guys. It is easy. Always be paying attention. When I'm running down, this is one very important tip. Now, you'll see where I threw down, where I threw down that portable radar. Um, that, I, it was a little while ago. But make sure you take note of where I threw that down at. Because that covers two other spawns I can see two maybe even three I'm not sure if I can sp see spawn four but I can see spawn two which is in the corner of the building inside spawn three which was at the top of those stairs underground and spawn four which is out in the middle of the open area by a I can see those spawns which is very very helpful because I can I can just look up at the portable radar real quick and it'll show me which one of those three spawns are spawning at and I can just play according to that always shooting people in the butt or when they're not expecting it because they just spawn or something crazy like that so that's what happened and this is actually a pretty uh pretty lucky moab i guess you could say at the very end you'll see some death streak going down and me pulling out a panic knife on it which i normally can't do but <laughs> able to pull it out the p90 you guys can see my class to the right got the p90 with rapid fire and silencer which is a great setup you got you get used to the kick takes a second uh well, <laughs> a little longer in a second, but it does not take very long to get used to the kick. It is pretty simple. Burst fire, long range, close range, it tears people apart, guys. I really love this gun. And this is Ground War, which is actually what I'm trying to get back into playing, get some quicker Moabs. So you always need to be careful in Ground War. And Ground War is especially important to be able to be, to be always focused on the game because there's always people all over the map and i should be coming up to the moab here the spawn had flipped on me so i was kind of running around over to b and you never want to go into b where i had that x you do not want to run in there i like to sit where the two train where the train separates and i can see into it um i can see towards the b one of the openings to b it's a great spot to sit at guys so i hope this i hope you enjoy this hope this helps so leave a like all that good stuff and i'll see you guys later adios